It feels like yesterday. We felt invincible because we had the whole country behind us. They are treasured memories of 1966, when England won the World Cup. But striker Sir Jeff Hurst and goalkeeper Gordon Banks know they are the lucky ones. Some of their former teammates now have dementia and no longer remember England's World Cup win. It's one of the great things about winning the World Cup are the, are the memories, the camaraderie, the team spirit. Um, and people still remember it today. The people come up to us both and say, fantastic, who maybe you there or watched it. And uh, so the memories, so to lose that very important thing uh, of their memory for the players and how they're involved is, is, is very sad. Nobby Stiles, Martin Peters and Ray Wilson have all been diagnosed with dementia, a cruel condition that has no cure. When we run round the pitch with that, that, uh, that trophy in our hand and everybody can remember Nobby, you know, skipping like a little lad, you know, and, uh, and they'll never forget that. And of course, he's one of the ones that have, that's got uh, dementia. Gordon lost his own brother to Alzheimer's in 2012. To see him change like he did was just incredible uh, to me, you know, visiting him and, and him not, not remembering who, who I was and uh, it was just so, so sad. The England legends have returned to Wembley as part of a campaign by the Alzheimer's Society and are hoping to raise funds to find a cure. We just hope that, you know, people can remember those, those lads and what they did for, for, for this country you know, and, and hope that they'll support, and support this, this. The support, you know, and, and you know, the, yeah. to unite against dementia. They were teammates then and are still united now in trying to tackle dementia. Leila Hayes, Five News.